Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will see the concept of balanced data distributor transformation. This particular transformation is available as part of SQL Server 2014 feature pack. Now, I have already installed this particular uh, transformation in, in my Visual Studio. So, in order to see the transformation, let us add a data flow task. Now, we can see balanced data distributor transformation over here which means it has been successfully installed. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, I have created, uh, I already have one table in which there are 10 lakh, more than 10 lakh records. Okay. So there are 10 lakh 31,720 records in this particular table. There is bulk insert data table. Now I have created a copy of this table called copy underscore bulk underscore insert underscore data and currently it has got no records so what we'll do is we'll copy this data that is more than 10 lakhs records from bulk insert data table to copy bulk insert data table okay now for that first of all we'll do this particular activity without the help of balanced data distributor task uh, transformation and then we'll do with the help of balanced data distributor transformation and then we'll compare the improvement in the performance right so first of all let us take a OLEDB source and a OLEDB destination right so let us configure it to point to our source data table yes let us connect to the destination is copy bulk insert data table mappings are correct let us save it let us execute so you can see that it has taken only 1.482 seconds to copy the whole data that is more than 10 lakh records right now it is very fast process correct now let us assume that between this OLEDB source and this OLEDB destination, there are a lot many transformations as part of this data flow task. Then all these transformations will consume their own time and memory, right? And assume that because of these many transformations present between the source and destination, the data flow task becomes quite slow. Okay, it starts consuming a lot of time. So in order to simulate that, let us uh, do one thing. Let us introduce a script component. So let us add. Now let us edit the script. We'll cause some delay. Okay, we'll cause some processing delay as part of this script component. So what we'll do is system dot threading dot thread dot spin weight for 3000 times okay so it will spin weight for 3000 iterations so let's save let's close let's close everything right now let us execute our package again and let us observe the resultant time consumed by this package so this time total 13.744 seconds have been consumed okay now so it's a big performance degradation correct now let us see how we can improve this okay so for this let's copy this let's paste this so it's pointing to the right table okay this code is also present now
let us introduce our balanced data distributor in between now this particular balanced data distributor transformation does not require any configuration okay so what it will do is it will distribute the data that it receives between these two paths in a round robin fashion okay so almost half of data it will distribute to both the paths okay okay so everything is configured now let us run our package so we can see that almost half of data has been distributed between both the paths correct and let us see the time consume so it is 7 seconds correct 7.020 and without the help of balanced data distributor transformation the total time consume was 13 point something seconds right so more than 13 seconds were consumed and now it is almost half that is it is now consuming only 7 seconds so we can see that there is lot of performance improvement with the help of balanced data distributor transformation I hope friends this particular video tutorial on balanced data distribution transformation is useful to you. Thank you.